All right, Kevin, so congratulations, first of all. You guys are in the Atlantic League Championship Series. It's just the second time that this franchise has ever made it this far. What does it mean to be here at this stage at the end of what's been such a great season for this team? I mean, it means everything. I mean, we set out goals in the beginning of the year in the, in the winter time when Mike and I were sitting in the office and Mike's you know, going over the team and calling guys and signing guys and, uh, you know, put this team together. They did a great job with that, and, uh, you know, we're just so excited. It's just a... Uh, since 2004 when I was a player here and we won it. Uh, it just seems like that type of uh, that excitement and that, it's just very special. Let's talk about the Liberty Division Championship Series again. You guys take the first two games here at home and split them with the Blue Crabs. So obviously they take a little bit of that home field away. Yeah. But you go down to a place that's always been tough for the Ducks to play at and win two. How difficult is it to win two games in Southern Maryland? It's very difficult. I mean, anytime you, you, know, you try to win on the road, it's a little more difficult. But... Uh, you know, the character these guys have, you know, we didn't care where we were going. We were like, listen, guys, we got to win two out of three. That's our goal every every time we go to a series. We talk about win two out of three. Obviously, you want to take three, but, you know, the chances of taking three are a little slimmer. But uh, to win series, and that's what we talked about. We just went there and went, let's win series. Let's win a series, and that's what we did. There have been two big things that have stood out to this team. One has been big-time quality starting pitching when needed, and the other has been the offense coming back in games. We saw that in that first series. Mike Lurie in game one, and then Bob Zimmerman in game three with great starts. And then the offense, especially in game two, almost coming all the way back, yeah. and then in game four with the tremendous comeback to pick up the win. Yeah, I mean, uh, we talk about playoff atmosphere games, and usually – it's low scoring, you know, who, who makes the, uh, the less, uh, least amount of mistakes as far as errors and base running blunders and whatnot. Uh, you know, the bats, uh, guys, we talk about quality bats all the time. And uh, we, just, we were down 4-1 to one in the first inning, uh, and then it was 7-3. to three, and So, guys, we just talk about good at bats, guys, good at bats. And uh, guys never, never, never pressed. They, you know, stayed on top. Everybody's on the edge of the dugout, you know, cheering for one another. Um, and just, you know, listen, we got some game left and just stay in it. And we did that. And, uh, you know, I tip my hat to them. They stayed in it and came out on top. There were a couple times during that series where there were some defensive mistakes and some, yeah. you know, situations where you didn't get the big hit. What do you say to your players at that point to keep their spirits up to go out there and play the rest of the game the right way? Well, the key is, you know, you're going to make mistakes. Obviously, in the playoff, you know, atmosphere game, playoff games, you try to limit it limit the mistakes but you don't want them to press maybe the next ball hit to them or the next at bat you don't want it to take it to the next uh next player the next at bat so what i try to do is just you know if they come inside hey you know get get a good you know pitch next in and get a good at bat next in uh go on defense you know make the next play that's all you can control you can't control what you did before good bad, or different but uh if you make a mistake you just don't want it to you know stay on you you want to kind of move on from it. Now in the Atlantic League Championship Series, you guys won game four. York and Lancaster had to go to a game five. Did you follow the game on Monday night to see who you were playing? Was there <laughs> a team you were hoping to play more than another? <laughs> well, yeah, I was following the game, and uh, it wasn't really I was hoping to play one or the other. They're both good good teams, and uh, we had some success against York this year, and Lancaster for that matter. But, uh, you know, whatever reason, I, I don't know if we match up better. I just think, the, uh, you know, York uh, – we have some guys from York, uh, you know, Esquivel, uh, KJ, uh, and uh, uh, well, so uh, Kennard, Kennard, yeah, Kennard, Jones, Bob KJ, Zimmerman, KJ, yeah. they played there, so they, you know, they got a little something to prove to them. So that's uh, that's one of the things that you want to maybe play play against a guys, a team that the guys played for before, maybe a little added and incentive. Have you talked to them at all to see what their take is? You guys have already clinched a first half title in York this year. Does it almost seem like it's destiny that you've already had one celebration there? <laughs> you guys are hoping to have another now. I like to think so. I like to think that, uh, you know, we celebrated there again uh, before, and why not do it again? So, uh, you know, the table's set, and we're ready to go. In Southern Maryland, it seems like the Ducks batters a lot of times were trying to go to left field. You had that short wall there that a lot of other teams like to use. In York, you've got the arch nemesis in left field. Do you think that favors your team with that shallow left field wall to try and go after that and out to left center? You know, it all depends on what – listen, it's all going to come down to pitching. you got to, you know – we got to make quality pitches, and I'm sure on the, the same goes for York. They keep the ball out over the plate. You know, my guys are probably going to pepper that wall. Uh, same thing with us. We need to, uh, you know, try to hit the corners, maybe stay in, stay away. Don't leave everything out over the plate because they got a good hitting team over there. You talk about pitching. Let's talk about pitching. Rotation here for the championship series. Do we see any changes from the first round? And then on the other side, talk about York's rotation a little bit and what you think they're going to throw out because Corey Thurman, their ace, yeah. had to go last night. Yeah, uh, you know, as far as our rotation, I mean, we're going to go the same thing as far as Lurie, Banks, and Zimmerman. 
uh, and the Ford startup right now, uh, we're leaning towards McCoy, maybe taking Delos out of the uh, rotation. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things I feel uh, uh, with McCoy, they got more righties on that team. They got a couple switch hitters, but a little predominantly righty. And I think he, uh, with his movement on his ball, and, and uh, I think he, you know, will have a, you know, a little better chance against them. And then let's talk about the lineup. One injury that we saw in the first round was Javier Colina. He dealt with a little bit of a shoulder injury. Do, can we expect him back in the championship series? Has he been rehabbing well from that? Yeah, uh, he, you know, he took BP today, threw today, so he should be ready to go tomorrow. It's just a matter as far as how he responds uh, from what he did today. But uh, I spoke to him, and he says uh, he's ready to go. And then finally, let's just talk about the York lineup a little bit. You're talking about how they have a couple switch hitters, a couple righties, but they're a team just like you guys that have some offensive firepower. Yeah. What do you expect from their lineup in this series? Well, uh, again, they got a good lineup. We just got to... You know, you talk about Grimes keeping him off the bases. Uh, it's the same thing that they're probably talking about us trying to keep KJ off the base and Binnick as well. Uh, you know, and then they're, they're big guns. Uh, you know, you just try to, you know, try to minimize the damage. You know, if you got, you know, the walks. You know, those are important. You don't want to walk guys. Uh, uh, but the bottom line is you stay out of big innings, and uh, I think we'll be all right. All right, Kevin. Well, thanks so much for the time. Game one of the Atlantic League Championship Series starts tomorrow night, Wednesday at Beth Page Ballpark, 6.35 p.m., and then game two on Thursday. Should be a great series as the Ducks look to go for their second Atlantic League title.